it's a Christmas song, but it's not a Christmas song. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what side of the world you're in. I'm Half-Life Sister, and this is my hubby Wolf Kane. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel and to another episode of Sister and the Wolf Reaction. We're back, baby, with another patron request. That's right, Half-Life, sister.com for the merch. You know it. Support us on Patreon if you're not doing so already. This is what keeps this channel alive. Yes. I got an announcement coming up, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> you like her jewelry? You like her earrings? You like whatever she makes? All handmade by me. It's on her boutique, halflifesister.com, custom made by her. I have hundreds of earrings I have yet to push to my boutique, so. Yeah, you do a merch <laughs> store, physical, like a real one, yeah. but uh, that's why I, I point that out, that if you like something she's wearing, you may not see it in the store, but it does exactly. exist. Exactly. Thank you, baby. And, uh, yeah. We are keeping our tradition. We are. We took a long flight. We did. We headed to Finland. We did. And we didn't tell anybody. So and now we are in our lovely bungalow in Finland. Really good in in the Finnish forest. Because last time I said mountains and someone said Finland doesn't have they mountains. They corrected you in the comments. I Google mountains and apparently they do. So I don't know where that. But anyway, Moving forest. Forward. We're in the Finland forest. We okay. are. And I love it here, guys. This time of year. It's just amazing. Like, look at it. And we've come to enjoy some more Yarko. As Yay. everybody knows, he does every year a Christmas special. He's a very festive dude. He likes to bring in the festivities every year. And this year's no different. He's got a new song that we're doing, which is uh, Tobias Corquella. Okay. I, I, th I think I had a Spanish inflection there. That's... And that translates to Skies High Above. Skies High Above. Yes, this is composed by Henin Hatunen and Hatunen, okay. lyrics by Hannah Yohod or J Okay. Listen, except all mistakes for love. Okay? Except all mistakes for love. For real though. And uh, yeah, so we've got a special patron request here, obviously, and also provided a and that that's the composer right there by yeah. the way with Yarko in the background looking all confident and smug. He's so cool. What's up, Yarko? <laughs> it's gonna have subtitles. So you're gonna see the subtitles here. So we're gonna have an English translation to the song while we listen to it that we can enjoy it and understand what it means. I did hear some of the interview. We have an interview with the composer explaining what the song is about and he mentions that it's not necessarily like a particular religious Okay, song okay. even though it's a holiday song so, uh -huh. but it doesn't have like a specific religion so that way that's i can respect uh, that. all you lovely people who think that you have the one true religion yes. you don't have to sit there and fight over <laughs> right <laughs> this song seems oh to be ambiguous gosh. you could just I love it. enjoy it as people and as I'll, a human being and i'll include the full uh, interview at the end of the video as well if you nice. guys want to check it out for some more info there so thank you to our lovely patreon supporters yes thank you baby so very much i love you guys thank you for loving us this Speaking is probably going to be our last video of the year. So yeah. also happy new year, guys. We love you all. We love the Thank support you guys so much. Special announcement for next year. Oh, do it, baby. Do it. My reaction channel is going to be a thing, apparently. I'm so excited. So I can't watch them, unfortunately, right, babe? But <laughs> not all of them. Not I can, all I can, them. Let, I can let you know which ones you can or can't watch. Finally. But it's going to be very different from this reaction channel in so? that it's going to be Let's more see. traditional. What's uh, traditional, more? Well, I'm joking. obviously, the <laughs> reactions here that we do on your channel are special. This is our channel, babe. Just in my name. I understand that, but I, <laughs> they're, they're more high effort because. Let's let's be real. I'm a husband who's introducing my wife to music oh, that I share that I care you, about. Thank That's you. something every husband kind of dreams of. They do. So I'm living the dream. That's not going to be how my channel's going to be. My channel is going to be just me catching up with uh, all the bands that I love that I have not That's caught so up on. Cool. There's so many people, uh, so many bands that um, are some of my favorites that have new albums. Some of you will notice that there's holes in this reaction channel in the sense that we've done reactions to Tool, we've done reactions to Slipknot, but we never did the full albums, so I never got to finish the full albums. I'm going to be doing that on my channel. But what about me? I want to hear those those songs so, too. So, Jelly Belly. So again, when you decide to get around to that, we have a backlog of requests that were made on Patreon that, that we haven't true. gotten to. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we can't do things outside of that right now. We can't. And so then if, if, if once we ever have time or if you have time, that's up to you. But for me... Uh, I won't be waiting any long. So you're going to be helping me build my playlist. It's going to be a whole thing. I'll explain it on my channel when we when, when we get there. I'm excited. But I'm just letting you all know now. If you guys um, want to start subscribing, the link obviously to my channel is in the you description. You guys got to support my hubby. Come on, guys. It'll start next year. The Patreon will be the same for both of us. But the reaction cues, the request cues will be open for me now. Ah, really? By the time this goes up, the Patreon will be set up. 
and it'll be open for requests. Oh, and like I said, day. it's going to be different. I'm not going to be editing the videos like I do on this channel. So there's going to be more volume. And that's the key here is to get caught up on my music, more volume without I'm all so the jealous. editing, because the editing of these videos take 20 to 30 hours for, for a single reaction oh, to be done. Baby, that's why you don't so see that wonderful. many reactions on here. I but appreciate you so much. it's also why they do too. The cost of doing reactions on here is higher because of the the effort. So the other one, obviously, you can request the the, the reactions are going to be cheaper on the Patreon. With that, just being a supporter is is what matters there. Building up the channel so that we can do this full time. And I still, like I said, I'm still going to be doing these. We're still going to be doing these. We have a huge backlog, and I'm still going to be editing. But if you guys saw the list of reactions up. that we've already done on Patreon, we got 150 150 videos on Patreon that are waiting to be edited on YouTube. So if you like our content, the benefit of having the same Patreon is you get to send me requests, but you also get to enjoy all of the videos that aren't on YouTube right now of reactions so that cool. we've done over the last several years that you still haven't seen yet. All right. A lot of great freaking songs. Uh, guys, there, there, there are reactions on there oh that are some God. of my favorites that I have yet to put on here. We did, you know, like uh, Odin Organ, like there's the Gunman trilogy. That's going to take oh. me forever to react to because we did several songs and I plan to make Baby. it like a mini movie. Because oh, that's will? what it was. That's what I want to do. That's that my so much fun. That's my ambition, but that's why I need to go full time. That's why we need to grow the Patreon. We do. So I don't Help I'm not being guys. distracted by other things. <laughs> yeah. But that can't happen unless Thank we build so that Patreon up, okay? And Thank you guys in advance. Hopefully you guys could continue supporting us and build up our following on Wolf's channel. You, you, but also, you see what we're trying to do. So if you like what we do, support it. It's fine. Thank you so very much. Indeed, indeed. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Get into it. Happy holidays. Happy we hope holidays. you're enjoying them. Yes. Happy New Year, everybody. Yes. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready, ready? too. Let's I'm go. ready. Let's do it. Sit 
sitä katsovan ja kotiin kaipaavan. Kun tänä yönä taivas on niin korkealla, tiedän, että sinäkin oot jossain sen alla. Kun tänä yönä taivas on niin korkealla, tiedän, että sinä oot sen alla jossakin. It's pretty. What got you so emotional? The end of the year? <laughs> Just a sucker for violins as always. That was so beautiful. That was very pretty. Thank you. Really? It's like that? <laughs> it was so beautifully sang. And the, the violin is so beautifully placed in this song. It's beautiful. <laughs> it felt so comforting. There's a weird thing going on here. That, um... Oh my god, I look crazy. I get throwback vibes to my childhood because this kind of sounds... I, I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's the, the, the violin and the way it's kind of being played that it reminds me of... I don't want to say like like Elvis or like um but it, it it was that time I guess it was the 80s where I was listening to bands like again I don't want to say I don't want to say ABBA I don't want to say like I can't put my finger on what this reminded me of but do you remember like old Elvis like when he's singing, like let's say, you know, I'm caught in a trap. And do you remember? Do you remember that song? I can't. Um, do you know I Elvis? So, How old yeah. do you know? I don't I'm really, caught I'm, in a I trap. Was never I can't. Like a big Elvis fan. Okay, to to anyone here, see if you can. But I know that song. I'm, I'm thinking. I think. I have okay, but do you remember the background singers and the violin and the way they no, they no. kind of we can go on together okay. with suspicious lies. Okay. With, and then you hear the with yeah, suspicious. Yeah, I remember that song now. There's something. There's a certain vibe in this song that that took me back there, and I think it was the combination of way there was a violin, and I think there was a chorus here, but it might have just been keyboards. But it kind of sounded like they were coming together, and it gave me that throwback vibe here and I don't know if you're feeling that right now but that's um, what I was feeling was like I felt like I was back in the 80s listening to stuff like that and it certainly gives me a warm feeling because yeah. that was you know it feels very whimsical very just very comforting and lifting and happy and it's just so beautiful he sang that so beautifully and the violin, it was just so sweet and oh, not overdone. You know, I mean, I love violin, but you know, it, you know, it's okay to sprinkle it. It's just was what was well placed. The song was so pretty. It's so a beautiful. bit of an understated song. Like there was no like big moment yeah. in the song. Ooh. But like I said, the vibe of that, of it giving me from the eighties is what really draw me in here. And towards the middle, particularly, it, 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 it escalated, escalated a little bit there, but for the most part, overall understated. Still very pretty. Um, and again, I can't help but feel like in my childhood a little bit, and it's almost a like a bit, Christmas yeah. in my childhood of the 80s. You know, my mom was uh, young and vibrant. and You know, for me, this doesn't feel like cold. It felt warm. This song, if Did it I had... say cold? When well, you said we said Christmas time, holidays, you know. Oh yeah, like but that. definitely not cold. Definitely has a warm feeling. Yes, it feels. Yeah, yeah it feels very like warm, warm, like in our bungalow, like we're warm yes, right now. Yes, and it just not Florida, Finland. We're in Finland. We're in Finland. I Finland, promise. Guys. I promise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it felt very warm. Um, geez, I oh wow. Cool. Yeah, sweet song. Beautiful song. <laughs> and yeah, so not about much. religion, just about that, that like classic song of, of just wanting to be with a loved one yeah, on Christmas. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Which is also sweet. And it didn't feel like Christmas to me. It felt like it felt like spring. <laughs> if you know, if I had to to put a um, a, a season on it, 
I wouldn't say winter. I would say spring. I don't know why. Very nice. Good job. Well Thank done. Thank you so very much. Thank you for the request. Oh, what a treat. Appreciate that. Yeah, came right on time for the holidays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, nothing more to say about that. Just wishing you guys all a uh, happy holidays. Yeah. Add to your cheer a little bit. Take care of yourselves. Yes. New Year's going to be great, hopefully. Uh, this year wasn't terrible, was it? It wasn't. Oh, no, wait. Wasn't. We had a war. We, it was pretty well, terrible. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Ukraine got invaded this year. And this happened still, this year. Yeah, this and it's still this happening. Year. Okay, this... Oh. So, we're, we're thankful. To be stuck in an ivory tower. I am so sorry. There's so many people suffering. Yeah, so, not the... Okay, yeah, not the greatest year. And to all these people who, who support Russia, you know, Putin and stuff, you know, like I said in my other video, you know how I feel about you. So. Coming out through that. Don't care no more. Don't Wait, this more. is a festive moment. I apologize. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> peace and love. <laughs> be good to yourself. You know who you are. And those around you. Okay, remember that. Be good to yourself and those around you. Yeah, and how about caring about other people and not using excuses that are arbitrary to justify the murder of innocent people? Let's do that as well. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video and if you did please give us a thumbs up comment below do not leave without subscribing but also do share our content as well click the bell get notified yes. support and, and, us on oh, patreon yeah. you know how we do oh baby there's a mistletoe i know right just came out of nowhere as <laughs> always <laughs> keep it metal and matter forever, baby you know what that means i <laughs> love you guys <laughs> love you guys Bye. You have lipstick all over your lips. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Janne Huttunen. He's the composer of Taivas Korkeala, which translates to something like skies high above. And yeah, you were kind to take time and um, it would be lovely to hear, hear your thoughts about the creation. Hi. Um, yeah, the, the song is basically when I started to produce a new album for Yarko two years ago. It's still on the works and we have so far released two singles of it. And uh, I just thought that, okay, it would be great to write a new song for Yarko. It's a Christmas song, but it's not a Christmas song. <laughs> basically, uh, basically, it's a song about longing for somebody really important for you. It might be your girlfriend or, or maybe somebody who has passed away. The lyrics doesn't really tell you who is it, but it's a really deep longing. And, and my idea was to write kind of a Christmas vibe song for Yarko, but I asked Hanna, who wrote the lyrics, that can you write me a lyric that it's something about a winter, something about the nature and something big around it. So Hanna really got the idea really fast and this was the, the first draft basically she wrote and just the minor fixes here and there. So she really got my idea and she made it right away. So for me, I already produced for all the books for Yarko, it was quite easy to kind of write the melody because I know how he sings, I know like his style quite well, I think. So the whole process with the songwriting was really fast. I just wrote it on piano and maybe, maybe the you know, the C part of the, or oh, how do you say, mid eight part of the song took some more uh, work, but I just sat on the piano and wrote the song. <laughs> so. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> and when when was this, was, was this, uh, has this been in the works for a long time or long before uh, the publishing? Two, two years ago, uh, when, when I started to produce the album, maybe it's gonna be released next year, maybe there is gonna be some signals of it, I don't know what's the situation of the album, but, but this this is the second single, and I'm really glad to release this song, and it's also the title of the tour. I, I think it, it's, the lyrics are quite clever, it, it, it doesn't have anything 
article about Christmas. It doesn't have Jesus or whatever religion on it, but it's still kind of a religious feel on it and on the lyrics. And you can imagine the rest that it's it's more like a winter song. So I really love the lyrics, and uh, I think it it's a great song. <laughs> Yes, I I agree. It's, it's it's a lovely song, and also like you said, the meaning meaning can be many things, which is uh, kind of in, intriguing and beautiful. So yeah. all the listeners can can translate it to their uh, own world, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, even when I wrote it, uh, when, uh, when I sat on the piano, I didn't think of death, but many people. Along you for somebody they they really lost. I I kind of at the moment felt that it's just longing for your you know girlfriend or somebody who's far away. But but still uh, I think most people think of bigger lost losses. And, but yeah, it's a good lyric in, in a nutshell. You can really uh, put yourself and you can combine many stories on the lyric and it's all in your head yes that's that's right i'm i'm curious i wonder if you could uh, tell a little bit about the process because i know that yarko doesn't read notes written notes like how yeah. how was the process of him uh, learning the to sing this and how did you play to him like that yeah i uh, recorded a demo probably it was me singing really badly <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know it's a good song when you you know even a bad singer like me gets vibe on the song and uh, yeah or, or like the song right away and he wanted to do it and uh, actually i think it was the summer maybe in June 2020, when we made the first demo of the song at the summer camp, a summer cottage. <laughs> so even you, you know, sing about winter time, the most of the Christmas album are really made at the summer time when it, when the you know trees are green and <laughs> the sun is shining and it's hot. Was it the uh, the time that you posted the photo from the summer cottage? I, I think it was. Around that uh, time. Yeah, we, we, we tried that song first on that, yeah, in June. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. But it's not a Christmas song. <laughs> it's a winter song, yeah. But uh, it, it's kind of funny. I, I've been producing like at least five Christmas albums and it's always, you know, my, my summer time I got to spend with Christmas song. <laughs> Songs, it's kind of funny sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Is there something else you would like to kind of message you would like to tell tell through this song? Well, the song speaks for itself, but yeah, would you like to say something? about Janko's voice. In, in, in the end, you know, he, he really can tell the story. He really can make it feel big and, you know, he, when, when I was writing the melody for the song, I really could hear Jarko singing it right away. You know, it's I know how it would sound, and of course it will sound even better when when you really record Jarko. And yes. of course, when I, I've worked with him so much in the past 10 years, the process is easier every time when he comes to the studio. It's kind of a natural process for us as we worked so much together yes so yeah You're... He, he really can nail, nail the, this song and of course i knew knew it we would work really well which it does yeah and it's not not only like it technically works but yeah it uh, connects with you i think it's yeah yeah yeah, Jarko has his own kind of aesthetic world around him. It's something big or always, but also really like deep emotions and, and uh, he can bring big melodies to life and really like make the audience feel the lyrics and really dig into the music. So it's really great to work with him. And I, I think, yeah, we become a friends during this time so it's it's always you know as a producer 
great to have these kind of long relationships, you know, as with with some artists. So you get to know each other. And you always can dig some more of, of certain arts when you you have worked with them a long time. So you can always push the limit a little bit for, further. And it's not like about singing higher and higher and more powerful. It's something maybe I sometimes I want to make Kiarko sing quieter and lower and you know bring some new colors to his voice and yeah. Yes, he has just a magical ability to translate all the all the feelings into his singing and put all the colors in and sing with them um, with his heart, I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, 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 as an artist, you really need to bring your own life to this, you know, your sorrows and all your experiences, your singing. And I think Jarko really has developed a lot during these 10 years. He is getting better all the time. Yes, which is uh, mind-blowing because yeah, every time I hear him live, he's, he's even better and it's it's not even possible anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's one great thing about getting older. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. Hey, thank you so much, Janne. Really appreciate Thanks. you joining me. And yeah, I can't wait to hear Taivas Korkealla live tonight yeah uh, i need to come to some some of the concerts yes, yes definitely uh, if I, hopefully you, you can know, make it if i can be. there are quite a few options yeah Jarko will yeah. be very busy in the next yeah. couple of weeks yeah okay thank you so very much and merry christmas merry christmas to you bye bye Ja lasi helmiä rantaan kiviseen, kun metsät pukeutuvat valkeaan paitaan. Kalliot käy peiton alle nukkumaan, ja kannen alla koski kuohuna virtaa. Ilma on kirkas ja hiljaa paikallaan. Taivas on niin korkealla, tiedän, että sinäkin oot jossain sen alla. Kun tänä yönä maa on kaunis ja mä uskon, sun sitä katsovan ja kotiin kaipaavan.